We're now at the back end of the RS directory dashboard. Uh, which is the component that we'll install in the last lesson. And this shows you all the different features that are part of this component. It lets you know what you can do. And, and you know, it's really great because there's so many things that you can do here and there's so many options. So I just want to take a moment just to go through each one so you have a really good understanding of all the flexibility, all the things that you can do with this. So the first one, if you notice here, is the entries. Now the entries, since this has the front end capability where people can be able to submit items, um, you know, you can be able to come back here to see all the items that have been submitted or created. So let's take a look at the entries. By default, there are three that have already been installed that came with the installation, but I'm gonna show you how to add more and how to edit and all that good stuff. So from taking a look at these, you know, these are just vehicles. You have the form, you have the author, the person who created it, the date, and you know, when it's uh, needs to be renewed, uh, if it's promoted, and I'm gonna go over all these later, but I just wanna sh you know, show you just the basics of this. And then next here, you have the reported entries. There are currently no items on the reported entries. What this is, uh, what this is if someone post something up that's you know offensive or you know it's, it's problematic or it's fraud or whatever it is users have the ability to be able to report it and once they're reported you can be able to see here all that information and next you have the ratings and reviews you know one of the great things about a classifieds is that you have the ability for you to rate items you know so that people know the items that have higher ratings you know usually means that they're uh, performing very well so users are going to be able to uh, rate different items currently right now since we don't have any rate reviews uh, this is blank and then next we have the users this is where you're going to see all the users of your site and it's going to give you a complete list list you know how many credits they have how many credits they've spent uh the transaction how many entries that each person has and you can be able to know exactly who's posting what who's doing what and once you click on it it's going to give you the information you click on the entries here uh so that shows you all the details about the users and then you have the transactions all right, transactions, of course, they just show you, you know, who's making payment, what's been paid and how much was it and, you know, all that stuff here, all the financial details are going to show up on this page. And let's take a look next at the credits. You know, the credits are, you know, people can be able to buy credit, you know, through points in this particular um, site. So that's one of the great things is that you can allow a certain number of credit for example you can you can charge people you know twenty dollars per 500 credit and they can convert that credit uh, into points where they can be able to use to post items so if you want to charge 10 credits per new post out of that 500 they can use 10 for new posts or if you want to charge 20 for the home page or whatever it is they can use the credits to post on the site and next, let's take a look at the fills. The fills are just different uh, different things where people can be able to, to choose from. You know, for example, when you go on certain websites and you're filling out a, you know, uh, an information, uh, it asks you for you know the type, your name, and, and so what this is, you can be able to create different fills. If you want to customize this more, if you want to get a little bit more information from people about certain things, then you can be able to use this, this fill section. If you want to get information about their website, for example, you can create a new field here and put that you can make that required or not so if you want for the website let's say people want to sell websites you can put a create a field there where it has the website address and in order for them to be able to submit their website to get sold they have to put in a web address you can make that required some of these are required and some of them are not these you know once again is based on the preferences or what type of you know site that you want to um you want to run and then we have the forms the forms are just different types of features in other words this one right now is just for the vehicle so Everyone that wants to wants to sell a vehicle, they are going to use the fills that are in this form. And let me show you what the fills are. 
you have the title here. Let's go to form fields. As I mentioned before a few minutes ago about the fields, you can be able to create new fields. Here are the fields that are part of this particular, um, the auto. So if you notice here, you have, let me see, pick one, the model, the make, the price, um, it has the vehicle description, and everything here, it, it pertains to vehicles, to cars. So when someone is, is filling information to sell their car, for example, they would have to pick and choose and add all the different things that they want to, to share with the buyer. So if they want to put in the, the of course, the make, the model, um, the door count, the color, uh, you know, the sunroof, does it have a sunroof? So on the front end, they are going to see this in the form of fill. So they can be able to fill all that information there. Now, currently everything here is checked, meaning that in order for someone to be able to, you know, get through, they have to, you know, put in all this information here, but you can change that. And then we have the categories. You can create, you know, unlimited number of categories where people can, you know, be able to submit items based on that particular category. So right now we have just the vehicle. You know, we're going to add different ones here. So it gives people a little more flexibility. Or if you want this just to be an auto site where you want to focus primarily on the auto industry, then this one is all you need. If you want it to be about housing, uh, then you create something for housing. If you want it to be about schools, whatever it is, you're going to be able to customize it and create it exactly how you want it to be. Now, since this uh, is going to be a little more diverse, we're going to have more than just cars here, you know, probably some houses, you know, apartments and things like that. And then next we have the groups. The groups pretty much just uh, as a way for you to know or set permissions. In other words, you know, all the users that are part of this particular group, they can do X, Y, and Z. You know, they're able to, to perform certain tasks. So groups are pretty, you know, it's a good way for you to kind of organize your site. So if you want to organize your site, you know, based on, you know, particular industry, you can do that. If you wanted to base on particular regions, you can do that as well. And let's take a look at the credit packages. As I mentioned uh, before, the credit packages allow you to sell, you know, packages on the site. So if you want to create, let's say, 500 points for three dollars or for twenty dollars or 500 credits when someone purchases that they can be able to use that on the site so every time that they use that credit on the site it deducts a number of points from what they you know what the overall point is which is really really great and they can make payments through paypal um, and of course use that and then email messages and this is where you see all the, you know, the emails and the communication, you know, that that been sent out um, to your users so that if something is about to expire or you want to inform them about something approved, unapproved, this is where you're going to be, you know, to be able to see all of that. And then configurations. The configuration allows you to configure your site. You know, for example, um, you just go through here. You set the email from email. So when you send emails out, who is it coming from? And you put in the name. You can set the payments here. Do you want what currency do you want it to be in? Uh, you have you know right now set to the dollar. And you of course you can change this to whatever currency that you want. And then the image. The layout, you set the position for the thumbnails. The layout, you want it to be right, left. So as right now, the default is okay. And then, of course, you have the watermarks. If you want to put the watermarks in all images, you can certainly do that. You have to make sure that where it says watermark images, that has to be yes. So every time a new image is uploaded, it's going to have the watermark um, on it. And you can determine what position that the watermark shows. Do you want it to be at the bottom right, the left, top and then you have to capture. Now, capture, or you know, this is a really great feature to have. You can go to Google and get the key for these. This this helps with you know minimizing spam. And when it comes to spam, you can never fully control it, but this sure you know helps out a lot. And then of course you have the comments here. Right now, set to Facebook as default, and you can check out the settings for that. And here you have to you want to enable ratings and reviews, reporting. Uh, update. So this section here gives you an idea of, of, you know, how you how do you want to configure your, you know, your site uh, on the front end. And then lastly, here you have the tools, you know, which allows you to back up, you know, import 
and export you know things into the site if you have a csv file you can just import it here so that's pretty much you know the core of this so now we are going to you know break this down so that we can you know build this thing